Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your 2017 yearly reading. We're going to start out with January. January is a soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. Yes, there is a difficult start in the beginning of this year. It's like a start on a new path that has two sides to it. One side that could work and the other side that may be difficult. That's interesting to me. When I look over, I have two layouts here that are confirming the main reading. And the Rider weight deck says that you'll start out with a bit of a struggle, feeling down, like your cup is, cup is half empty. That there will be either a young person who's having difficulties that you are aware of, may not be your child, maybe somebody else's child, maybe somebody you know, but it's like your heart goes out to this person who is in a struggle. There are judgments going back and forth between people throughout the year and there is you trying to support somebody as they're going through struggles. There's you going inside yourself trying to figure out how much to support somebody and then there's another person that you care about, could be a fire sign like yourself, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who is dealing with the situation and you're trying to hope for the best for them. Um, <clears throat> I also see down here with the Gilded Tarot that your year starts out with wonderful, beautiful things. As far as money, there's definitely money going on this year for Sagittarius's. And your money builds up and it's great. And then there's new opportunities to create new things in your life. And that's how it ends. So it's like you just start out with great things. You build on those great things. And then you create even further with the money that you have prospered with. Um, so when we get into January, we have this situation, like I was talking about before. It's like you care about somebody who has somebody else in their life who's struggling. And it's somebody you care about very much. And it's like you don't know what to do to help this person get through the circumstances. But luckily, the circumstances in the middle of January start to kind of look like they're turning out. Either that or you were looking at a situation hoping you were going to like this project. The project turned out great. It brought a bunch of money and you're trying to get things organized and structured. And um, things are rolling along. Paths are opening up. Your cups are flowing over and doing very well. Some of you, this is... This is really a few different people, I think, unlike the other readings. You meet someone, they're going through something. It could be either a fire sign or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There could be a new path with this earth sign. Yeah, an opportunity for love with an earth sign. It's almost like if there's too much of a battle in your current circumstances, personally, you might want to try and reach out to someone else and see if that's less of a battle, is what I'm feeling for January. I pulled three cards from the Doreen Virtue Tarot deck, and you received the Ten of Air. So there's an end to a difficult situation. You're embracing the change. You're expecting things to get better. Somebody around you is... Um, trying to heal from an addiction of some sort and you're hoping the best for them you're opening your heart you're saying you know I'm here for you I want to help you and give you advice support you if you need me um, that's the card of charity work make sure you give to charity in January make sure because that will give you extra karma and blessings and good energy to move forward into the year and the final card is the moon card with Archangel Hany Haniel saying important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release the fears that hold you back. So <clears throat> somebody is enduring a difficult situation and you're trying to help them get through it. 
but it's almost like you're kind of standing back because the king of water has his arms crossed saying, I'm here to support you if you need me. But you're kind of observing and wondering with the moon card, what is really going to take place in January? The, your uh, messages from your angels, Doreen Virtue Tarot card for January is the Grace and Antoinette card saying, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So, yeah, it's difficult. It's like in January, you care about somebody, but you need to kind of draw a line because you don't want to get too drawn into the situation. You're trying to understand their situation and be compassionate about it because you're a caring person, but you're going to kind of stand back and protect yourself a little bit from the situation. Going into February 2017 for Sagittarius, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So you're a very caring person, but like with this card, you're saying, you know what? I'm taking my shield. I'm protecting myself. I'm racing forward. I'm moving on. I'm going to try and heal. Whatever happened, happened. I'm sorry it happened. Um, I hope the best for everyone. I've got some experiences and things I need to release so that I can start to heal and have better things. I just want better things in my life in February. So I'm going to hop on my horse and I'm going to try and head in a direction that's going to bring me better things. It doesn't really say with people. It could say, it could mean that, you know what, I've got some good job opportunities coming in. i got to keep focused on that right now. I can't focus on some other things. So off I go. All right, please provide us with clearly defined messages with those regarding those who are born under the sign of Sagittarius for the month of February 2017. Sagittarius, February 2017. Sagittarius, February 2017. All right. Maybe in February... You find out of some things that upset you, that hurt you. It may even not be meant towards you, but that hurts you about other people that you care about. Um, <clears throat> for every one of those swords is a blessed new path and lesson that is being sent to you from the universe. There is no need for those of you who are feeling down and out to worry because there are many wonderful things heading your way. I think that's why you're wanting to kind of move forward, heal, let go, protect yourself. In the middle of February, there's going to be more contracts, more work to do. You're feeling pretty good about those contracts. Some of you may have gotten hurt in a relationship and now you're moving on and you find somebody new that offers you more in life and you may connect to a better partnership. In the final part of the month, you're kind of standing your ground with people. Like I said, you got your sword. I care about you, but right now I'm healing and I'm busy. I've got things to do. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. But I need to head forward and stay motivated in my life and do what's good for me. All right, so nothing's wrong with that. Got to look out for yourself. People around you may be going through some struggles that they need to go through. And that's their life lessons. It's not your life lesson. Your life lesson is to maintain what you're doing for your own. Yeah, because see, in February, you have victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. You got, you're got. you getting recognized for <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> the work you're doing. You're getting recognition for the time you're putting in and the effort you're su supporting to whatever you're interested in, whatever your place of employment is. Angel Oceana is saying in February, take action. 
You're in touch with your truth of the situation. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. Lovingly say, I'm here. I care about you. But I'm moving forward and I'm taking care of the things I need to take care of. I forgive you and I'm learning to heal from my own situations and I care about you. In March, you're going to need to retreat. It's just time to disconnect. There are too many things going on. You need to protect your heart. Somebody's reaching out. You're not quite sure. You have some things you want to think about in March. Who is it offering you love? Or who is it you want to offer love to? Yeah, that Knight of Pentacles from February is looking back, or I should say forward towards the Page of Cups going, yeah, I'm going to keep working because that stuff's intense, but now you have to kind of take a moment and you're going to have to think about something with regards to love. Sagittarius, March 2017. Okay, you're going to take a moment because somebody's asking you to to look at the circumstances from a different angle. You are going to maybe make a decision so that somebody knows where you're at and you're going to be very giving. If it has to do with work, you're going to retreat, but you're going to make sure you stay in touch and make the decisions that need to be made. You're waiting to hear back from somebody. All right, I took a pause. I'll listen to what you have to say in March. Magical things are going to happen because all of a sudden you're going to get a new path in money, another project, another assignment, another big chunk to add to your bank account. And yet you are still maintaining the faith that someone around you <clears throat> will do the right thing in their lives and with their lives. You care. It's not that you don't care. It's that you don't want to get tied up in that situation. So you're kind of retreating for a moment. You're taking a break. Woo! Okay. Wow. Not to say you're not feeling anything. That was quite a, a bit of feeling there that came flying out. There's emotions everywhere. Darn. Okay, so in March, maybe things aren't turning out the way you'd hoped. You're not seeing the positive in a situation. You might even be crying over spilt milk. Like somebody finally got your attention about something, and you're like, you almost put your heart too much into it. You're like, It's overwhelming. Things get a little bit out of balance, a little stressful. Here you were focusing on your work. You're doing your own thing. You were helping support someone from a distance or from the outside, and things were good, and you opened up your heart to them. And now it's like, well, your children are being blessed. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your mind. So you stood by somebody. You helped somebody. You took a break to listen to somebody. You really hoped for them that they would do the best in the circumstances, and now you're a little frustrated with somebody from the decisions that they made. At least you were on a break when that all took place. April. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So in April, you're going to try and get a different perspective. You got to stop. Whatever this is, it got your attention. You tried to tell people, I'm sick and tired of this, but no matter how far you walk away from the situation, it's still right there behind you. It's still like right in front of you. So you are going to open your heart again. You are going to try and tell them they're cared about, but you're going to try and protect yourself in April. 
you don't want to end up in a situation you love that you're attracted you're attracting people that's great but you're afraid of what you're attracting Sagittarius April 2017 mm-hmm in April there may be a water sign Pisces cancer Scorpio Sun moon or rising who's gonna say I'm having a hard time I need you to help me and inside your mind you're saying I don't know about this anymore I want to put an end not so much to the water sign person but to something they're connected to because there's a good chance that in April you'll either be busy creating something new in your life with regards to work or something new with regards to your relationship you don't want the same old same old you've been there to support and to provide and to give and to support and to provide and to give and now it's like you're trying to say I don't know if I want to fight this battle anymore you've got the two of water a relationship that continues to grow closer you've got forgiveness and and there's a positive resolution to a conflict but are you wanting to, that attraction to drag you back into that conflict again they adore you. Do you want that? In April, Angel Desiree says no. Conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look to other options and ask the angels for help to guide and to comfort you before you move forward. In May, of 2017 Sagittarius it says it's safe for you to love now open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all this is a page this could be opening up and being excited about a new project at work or this could be someone getting a hold of you who could be of an earth sign Virgo Taurus or Capricorn Sun Moon or rising in some cases a page either means an early part of a connection a relationship with an earth sign or it can be a younger earth sign and the card is saying well at this point in May it's okay for you to love that person to tell them that you love them to tell them that you care about them there's nothing wrong with that I feel like you're still protecting yourself, but I haven't seen that yet. So let me look at the cards here. Sagittarius, May 2017. Sagittarius, May 2017. There could be some sort of a love connection. This person could have a younger person in their life that's an earth sign or you could be starting something with an earth sign in May you may be hearing of someone having a child bringing a child into the family or you could say that you want to create something new in your life maybe it's a new project maybe work has just flown along so well that you keep getting brand new projects and things in your life or it's opening up to a new relationship hearing back from somebody about starting a new relationship Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless me with clearly defined messages regarding those born under the sign of Sagittarius for the month of May 2017. Okay, this card says, 
Events occur with great speed. Somebody's going to come very quickly, take time to carefully review your options. You'll have creative solutions. Creative new solutions with regards to a partnership that might involve a young earth sign or might be a connection to a new earth sign. <coughs> Please provide me with clearly divine, clear and divine messages from the angels with regards to Sagittarius. Angel advice for Sagittarius for May 2017. Archangel Raphael says, I'm helping you to heal physical, mental, emotional challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. You care. You want to give. You might want to reopen the situation. Even though you were walking away and you didn't know if you wanted to deal with the situation, you retreated, you thought about offering your love in that situation. The, the spirits, the energies are saying it's safe for you to love, to open your heart and to give. Or it's saying to start something new with someone else. Because there was attraction. There was you wanting to leave the pain behind. Now it's saying there's something new and it's safe for you to love. June 2017. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Any and all of that pain and confusion and frustration, there's something that needs to be released, let go of, put in the past. Here are all the swords you're carrying. Look at the mess left behind you. You are wanting to pick it all up, clean it away, and bring it outside and throw it in the garbage. You need to release and let go. You're not sure you can take much more of whatever it was that transpired. You mean so very, very well, but you just want to clear your energy. Yeah. Working hard, keeping your head right down in that work. It's almost like you're avoiding anything else. You're just focusing on work. And somebody's saying, hey, you know, let's start this new love. Or can we start over? Can we fix this? Can we make it better? From a, maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Justice is now in your favor. You get to keep the balance. You get to decide if you want to go back and open your heart to the situation from the past. Or if you want to cut it in your life, from your life. There's an opportunity for a new love. Could be a fire sign like you. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But you are definitely unsure in June. Hmm. Well, financial matters are good. And now that I see this page of pentacles and this page of pentacles, from last month in May, this month is saying good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study. So you have a new area of things you're learning, new financial matters that are coming, still remaining busy at work. And I think that's why you want to clear this energy and you want to clean house because you have got too many things going on right now to deal with anything, all those emotions and frustrations and intensity. In June, you have Angel Serena. First time I've seen her in these yearly readings. I am the angel of abundance. 
you will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So if you've been hoping and trying with work and all this time you've been putting into work to get yourself to a higher position, to make yourself a better income, to advance in some way, shape, or form, that is something you can look forward to. You are definitely clearing your energy from the emotional stuff. You're keeping your head focused on where you started, on doing better, like this yearly reading says, and on being able to create something for your future. Maybe some of you are looking for a retirement. You're trying to make plans and you don't want to be held up because you're trying to stay focused on your future. July 2017 for Sagittarius. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. What do you want? Do you want to be so content that you can give and help others at this point in July? Will you have reached a point where you can lift somebody up who's down and provide for them what it is that they truly need? Will you be the answer to someone's prayers in July? Okay. July. Everything is happening and swirling around you in a perfect manner. Many paths are ahead of you. Many goals are available to you. Much news is coming to you about what you've been waiting for. You've gone full circle. You have the knowledge of the next path you want to step out on. And actually, frankly, you're very excited to move forward. You're not going to deal with these people anymore because justice is being served in your favor. You will receive love and care for all that you have done. Wow. You carried a lot of swords and you worked hard and you supported others and you retreated when you needed to. And now you get to choose what you want to do. Because Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel the Empress, is saying lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourselves and others. She's covered in gold. There are going to be many blessings. Maybe grandchildren. Children. The ability to help children, to give to others. You will have received the point at which you've been worked so hard to achieve monetarily. You will be the giver, the protector. You will be sitting at the head of the seat. You will be able to make the decisions that others could never afford to do in July 2017. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. Children on earth are blessed to know you. And at this point in life, you received Angel Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Wow, by July you will have worked to achieve everything that you didn't even probably know you could do. August 2016 for Sagittarius. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. A fire sign is going to come to you with news. News of growth. 
news of great abilities. Good news. Fiery news. Passionate news. Happy news. Finally. Please bless these cards with clearly defined messages regarding those born under the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August 2017. <clears throat> You're going to be like the king or queen of pentacles. You'll be sitting up in the higher level where you'd always hoped you could be with your money, with your leadership. Or it could be that you meet someone of an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising sign, who you are considering as a soulmate. You will hear of an offer of love and be very excited to move towards that love in August. You may not know exactly what you're heading towards, but there's plenty of excitement. You are really considering a partnership. There's choices. Do you leave someone behind? Do you let something go? Maybe this is you offering this great new opportunity, this fiery beginning with lots of growth, romantic opportunities. Now that I think about it, whatever you decided in July that may have had to do with an earth sign, it's almost like you're sending a message you're heading over towards that earth sign because you've decided that your feelings are worth exploring with this person. Wow. August would be a good time to rest or take a vacation. Take a lot of time before making a decision. Meditation may provide you with the answers. So that's what you'll be thinking about when you have these romantic feelings and you want to offer a message to someone. And by the end of August, you'll be very much like the king or queen of fire, which is you, Sagittarius. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself anymore. Assert your independence and your creativity. <clears throat> Pardon me. You will be confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Sagittarius in August 2017. Wow. You will be like Angel Yvonne. Have a special bond with your animals. Know that your pets here and in heaven are being watched over by the angels. You are considering marriage, maybe, not all of you, but some of you, by August 2017. And Angel Daniel is assisting you. September. 2017. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Is it what you want? You've worked so hard to grow all of that beautiful gifts in your life. Are you being guided to cash in on them? What are the steps telling you to do with them? The ball is in your court. 
Sagittarius in September 2017. Here you are. It's your court. You're the boss. You get to decide. You're going to send out your messages. You're going to let this pass down here. If you look really close, I love this card. Destruction. You're leaving it behind. You're wishing on a star. You're feeling like the star. You're moving forward. Are you moving forward? Away from or towards a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Because justice is in your favor now. You get to make the choice. It's all about give and take. You get to decide on the partnership. You're like the knight of fire in this one, too. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. And when you know what you want, you're going to go after it. You're just kind of overlooking it all right now in September. Pardon me. Angel Serena is saying, I'm the angel of abundance. You'll receive the money that you need. God is in charge of how it'll happen. Have faith. Money. Continue to make the effort. You're getting where you want to be. Could be with love and money. Things are going well in September. October. This is an interesting card. It's not always has does not always have to do with religious factors. It has to do more with the spiritual path. You're looking at someone and you are observing their opinions or outlook on the same situation as you, but their outlook or opinion is different than yours. Are you going to accept the different point of view? Well, you're indecisive. You're unsure. Everything was rolling along. You got into a position that you wanted. And now you're coming up against something in October where you're not quite sure that that person and you per and yourself are on the same page about something. Hmm. In October, is this person true about what they're saying? Is this person true to you? Now, it could be someone you're working with. Are they saying one thing and doing another? Temper, temper. Sit back and observe. Be very patient. Watch. See what they do. Don't rush in quite yet. Don't make any decisions quite yet. There's something else that needs to come to light in October. Hmm. Well, October's the time. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance your emotional considerations. 
be diplomatic, but be very clear. And I know Sagittarius's are good at that. Lay it on the line. Tell them to make their choice and move forward. And the angel, Vanessa, is asking you to make your decision. Ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it? That is the question in October. November 2017. You are giving and giving and giving and giving to this male or female, and they are looking at you like, well, you know what? Why are you kissing my hand so intensely? Because you feel like that's where this was going. You feel like it was a blessed union in November. You thought it was safe to love back when. You felt like there was an intense attraction. You released everything after helping everyone. True. You were waiting to decide what you wanted. You offered romantic feelings. You advanced in your life. You did everything right. And now there's a difference of opinion. But the Hierophant is saying, there's a certain way to do this. And if this person isn't going to do it right, well, then you have to continue to draw that line. What will you decide? You have tons of attention from everyone. Why is this person being this way? Wait and observe. Be diplomatic. Let them know your love is there. Maybe this is a final test in the relationship to confirm that you're on the right path and that this partnership is for you. When you draw the line, you'll know if it was the right person for you or not. But you've done everything right through the whole year. You made all the efforts. You did, you, you worked hard. Ace of Earth. An inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure, important documents or contracts. Your work is good. But you're thinking you're trapped. There's a lack of self-confidence and you're afraid to take action. You're afraid to draw that line. That's interesting. Two different sentences that mean two different things right now. Things are looking up and it's the end of a difficult situation and time to take a trip. It's like you need a break to connect with like-minded people, to get a different opinion from somebody outside. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Because there'll be challenging information. There'll be changes to plans. And there'll be truth delivered without tact.
that you keep holding on. Angel Fiona says, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. You've worked this hard. You've made it to December, and December says. You've known each other before. There's a strong past life connection here. There's a strong, strong connection here. It's almost like it's being overlooked by this little dragonfly up here. It's like it's meant to be. You are meant to be. Let me pull some cards again. <laughs> Ace of Swords. You may have have you may end up having a challenging new beginning. This is all going to come down to you at the end. Do you move forward or do you stay? This card usually says to move forward and leave that which you know behind. There's a child that has influenced this situation so much who is of an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. There's so much love there, but there's so much protection, like you're protecting yourself from the situation. You feel trapped. You have to make a choice. You don't have to make a choice, but you feel like you want to make a choice. You want to live this life where you have fulfillment and contentment and peace and organization and structure and leadership. This person is who you're tied to, I think. Or this is you. Someone of the same element. Fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Something needs to be said and done. There has to be a discussion. No matter what anybody says. There has to be planning. Please provide us with clearly defined angel messages regarding those born under the sign of Sagittarius for December 2017. Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Don't cry over spilt milk. Maintain that inner strength that you've had the whole entire 2017. Decisive decision making. Clearing away that which no longer serves you. In the end, see humor in the situation. Sagittarius, Angel Raquel says, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you. There will not be concerns about money. But in the end, in both layouts here, the yearly one and the December one, you have the high priestess. You have the ability, the map, the opportunities, the seeds wisdom and knowledge from the owl to create whatever you want as you move forward in your life. Maybe you'll move away. Maybe you'll go off to an island in the middle of nowhere and decide to live far, far away 
from the stresses and of all the energy you've put in to the year of 2017. The overall card for Sagittarius. Is that someone from your past is returning to your life. It's like these people you can't separate from each other. It's like you racing in to help someone who is so deep in thought and that person is similar to you. And that person cares so much about somebody else that they are going to sit by them no matter what. And you care so much about them that you are going to defend and protect them no matter what. And you'll head off into the world together. A brand new path after the entire struggle is over. I have to say that's the hardest reading I think I've ever done. But there's much love along the way. There's much passion. There's money. There's forgiveness and love and forgiveness and love. And if you can stick in that game, do it. You may be drawn back to it if you can't. But there are many blessed lessons coming from this connection or these connections. Feel free to contact me throughout the year if you need to at josiek42 at gmail.com for private readings. I wish you a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and many wonderful, wonderful blessings in the year of 2017. Take care and God bless.